Hello and welcome to another tech tutorial. Today we are going to be talking about wind power. I'll be showing you how to make wind turbines. Now wind power is a renewable resource because you've never got a lack of wind apart from some days because in Tekkit wind power is just a little bit random. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Also another point to make about wind power is the higher it is the better you end up getting more energy so therefore it may seem cheap to actually make the wind turbines but the wire that you need to carry it down to get the energy down there is a bit of a pain because glass fiber cable is a little bit expensive also um, you've got to spread them out because if you put them too close together they will just interfere with each other this pattern that I've got here is an ideal pattern because then you get most like power coming through so yeah I will now show you how to make these okay so a windmill for this you need two redstone, four tin, one copper cable, eight cobblestone, eight refined iron and four iron ingots to make this you need an RE battery then you make yourself a machine block then you throw in a furnace to make a generator and um, then you put four iron ingots around the generator as shown in the top. Okay, there's the recipe for rubber if you need it, and your copper cable. I also recommend glass fibre cable for this. Um, both recipes will work, and the one on the right is the most efficient because you get two more extra from the recipe. Okay, pause this if you need to. Just keep it up. Okay, are you done? Done? Okay, move on. Bat box. You should need 5 wooden planks, 6 rubber, 3 copper ingots, 12 tin ingots and 6 redstone. Okay, there's your copper cable recipe, there's your RE battery recipe to throw them both in together to make a bat box with some wood. As always, you need a bronze wrench, 9 copper or 3 tin ore. There's your tin dust and copper dust recipe from a macerator and that's how you make bronze dust. Then you just smelt it together. Okay, pause it if you need then it. Then all you do is just find the space. See how I've got these two spread out here? I'll just go up, go to about in between them. Wire, wire, wire. Yeah, I'll put another one, why not? And then I'll put them on top. See, so if you put them on top, there's less interference from the wire because that means there's four sides free. And it's a little bit higher up. So, one, two, three. Make sure you don't go over your solar panels if you do have solar panels on as well. So otherwise these will just block a little bit of power from solar panels and that's not what you want. One, two, three, put that on top. There we are. Now if you click it, you can see it's got a little bit of power, but not a lot. So if we go up to this one up here, a little bit of power, but not a lot. It must be one of them temperamental days. One of them days where you don't get a lot of power coming through your wind turbines because there's not a lot of wind in the in the supposed game. But yeah, normally that'd be working. You'd end up getting quite a bit of power from that. As long as the weather was nice to you. You get more power on stormy days and rainy days. So the rain is not just useless. And a lag causer that gives you more energy. So what you do is just hook it all up like that and it running straight down into the rest of the cable and into your bat box. Then the bat box connects in to all your machines like so. Just get down the hole. It's not letting me down. There we are. That just connects to the bat box. And then we have power. See? Just connect it in. Then steady power. And another source for electricity. Wired up. So that's it for wind power. I shall see you next time. Bye bye.